Hi guys, today we'll show you how to do this braid that we call the Carousel Fringe Fist. And uh, we actually posted a picture of this on Instagram a little while ago and we got so many comments and requests for tutorials. So we thought we would like to see how it's made. So let's get started. First pick up a rather big section right above the ear. I like to brush it through just so it's nice and smooth. Now divide the section in three and begin a lace braid. In a lace braid you want to add in hair only from one side and in this braid we're going to add in hair from the top. So I'm crossing over a piece from the top and then adding a piece of hair. Then when you're crossing the bottom strand over you're not gonna add in any hair. It's very important that you remember to braid downwards in a circular motion. This will make the braid look round and almost like a half circle. Here I'm just continuing my lace braid and always adding in hair from the top. Here I'm adding in my last section which is right above the ear. Then finish the braid by braiding normally all the way down. Make sure to braid as far down as possible, that will help you later on. And when you're at the end, just secure it with an elastic. Now to the French fishtail braid. Start by picking up a section just underneath the lace braid. Divide that section into two and then take a little piece from one of the sections and cross it over to the other one. Then take a little piece from the other section and cross it over. Now this is a French braid so we're going to add in hair. So again I'm taking a little piece from one of the sections and crossing it over and then I'm picking up a small piece of hair from the head and adding it to it. Then just repeat on the other side. If you didn't catch the technique, we actually have a video that explains how to do a French fish tail very carefully, so make sure to check that one out. Then just continue your French fish tail until you reach the nape of the neck. So when you're at this point and you don't have any more hair to add in lift, just continue with a normal fishtail braid. When you've braided all the way down, just secure the braid with a small elastic. Now we're going to wrap the braid around the French fishtail. So take your braid and place it right in the middle of your French fishtail. Then just take a couple of bobby pins and secure the braid to the head. And just use as many bobby pins as you want to because the braid can actually fall down if you use too few. Now wrap the small braid around the fishtail again and place it where I think it looks good. And again, I like to just stick one or two bobby pins through, just so it stays in place. Now, I want my braid to wrap around one last time, but since it isn't quite long enough, I'm going to show you a little trick that will help. So, I'm removing the elastic and then undoing a little bit of the braid. Then I'm feathering out a rather big section from the braid. And then I'm just redoing the fishtail all the way down to the end. If you're working with the longer hair, you might not have to do this. I just think it is very handy because it really gives the braid a final touch that I really like. Now just secure your braid underneath the fishtail with a bobby pin. Now braid the new section that you just feathered out. 
I like to tuck a little bit on the edges of the braid to make it look bigger. Now wrap your new braid around the fishtail one last time and then secure it with an elastic. If the original braid gets a little loose, you can always just stick a bobby pin through it so it stays in place. Now you can just go back and fix any mistakes and then you're done. So we're really in love with this different yet cool looking braided style. Um, I actually wore this to a birthday party recently and I got a ton of compliments. So we really hope that you might try this hairstyle out and if you do, uh, remember to share it with us on Instagram by using the hashtag. <laughs> <laughs>